Border restrictions between Canada and the United States have had far-reaching effects, and some of those are personal. Taylor Rosari tells us about a sort of international couple who can't wait for the coronavirus crisis to end. Unfortunately, um, our usual has changed a lot. Michael Latticer and Jeremy Ernst have been dating for three and a half years. Michael is a teacher in Belcourt, and Jeremy works for an agriculture company in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Normally, the couple visits each other weekly, but due to the tightening of the Canadian port of entry, the couple hasn't seen each other in over a month. It was, it was just like going to the next town over, almost. Um, now with the closure, it's we both understand why it's closed and the reasons behind it, but there's no end date to it. The couple has had to find creative ways to keep things as normal as they can. So we've supplemented by uh, watching TV together through like FaceTime, um, you know, obviously we call each other, FaceTime, text. The border closure was extended an additional 30 days over the weekend, and both Ernst and Latticer agree the extended closure has put their future location into perspective. Just in general, just moving, like trying to figure out how to move across the border, either or of us. So I think this has kind of more cemented that now that we have to do something. Latticer says one of the hardest parts of the separation is that there is no physical barrier, just a line on a map. Not we're separated by oceans or water. It's literally an invisible line that I can walk up to. You know, um, it's yeah. it's not land. It's not you know anything. It's literally an invisible line. Reporting in Minot for KX News, I'm Taylor Rosari. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says it will likely be many weeks before those border restrictions come to an end. And keep it here, your forecast.